Hi everyone at .NET Conf. I just want to take a quick moment to show you some of the really cool projects that some of our students from across the world have been building with .NET. And this particular student has created something really interesting with Xamarin. So why don't we check in with her and see what she's been doing? So Theodora, how are you doing today? Hello, I am very good. Uh, I'm I'm active in my final year in software development, so I'm very busy learning stuff and working on projects. It's really exciting. Nice. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? So I am originally from Romania, but I live in Ireland. Uh, I'm in my final year in software development. And during the past summer, when COVID came as a surprise for all of us, my internship got canceled. So I dedicated my summer to develop a mobile application and learn new things to, you know, to add value to my CV and to myself. So I developed an application for um, for students to better manage their progress and monitor their progress during the academic year. As you can see in this screenshot, you have a dashboard where you can see the progress overall of, of over all your subjects. You can edit and see each subject individually, and you can add continuous assessments, final exams, and you can see how you're doing for that particular subject. You can also have details about your lecturer and his email and actually uh, email that lecturer if you if you want to. And, I, and as a little bonus, I have a calendar where the appointments will be filtered and will be displayed to the dashboard if they're due in the next seven days. Develop this application I use as uh, my base Xamarin. And I had a little help from Syncfusion for the uh, for the user interface, and I used Firebase for the database and the authentication. I used Visual Studio as a as an IDE, Git and GitHub as a version control, Windows and macOS for a developer environment because the application um, it's available on Android and iOS, and I used Trello to manage my iterations and my tasks. At the moment, the College Diary app is available on both stores, the Google Store and the Apple Store, and it's free for everybody. I love how just, just in a few months over the summer, you took the time to learn Xamarin, you learned C Sharp, you publish an app to the store, and you also put it up on GitHub. So that means that if anyone wants to, they could download the app on their device and try it out and see how it works. That means that they can go on GitHub and browse through the code. That means that they could bring it down to Visual Studio and even debug it and run it and you know kind of see what it actually feels like to like have that Xamarin application on their machines. Or if I wanted to, like I could go over to GitHub and I could send you some feedback or I could give you a feature request or just, just let you know like what my experience has been like running your app. And I think that's a really great experience for a lot of folks that are just getting into and, and wanting to learn Xamarin. Yes, there are actually a few developers working on the app at the moment, trying to, to come with new versions of the app or maybe making it more complex. Uh, and it feels amazing to be part of the open source world. I, I love it. That's amazing. So Theodore, thank you so much for showcasing your app with us today. And I really hope that you take some time to build some more apps with Xamarin so that we could show them off again at a future conference. And thank all of you at .NETCon for watching. I hope that you saw and got some inspiration from this application. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. And you know, stay tuned, because we might have some more students that have more interesting projects that we'd love to show you. So take care, and uh, we'll see you soon.